Welcome back. It's 914 and right now the Missouri Botanical Garden is open and hosting Chinese Culture Days. Since 1996, community volunteers have been putting this festival together, showcasing Chinese art, style, music and more. So let's go ahead and head out there right now to speak with Mobot's Abby Driver. Good morning, Abby. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm so good. Thanks for asking. All right, we got to get into it. What are some of the things planned for the festival today? Yeah, well, we've got so many things to come see. As you can see right now, we do have a Tai Chi program going on that we will have again later in the day. So don't worry if you're seeing it now, you're not missing anything. Um, we also have some incredible art. We actually have a local calligrapher artist who has brought 40 of his paintings that feature so much of Chinese nature. With the, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and he's doing live calligraphy demonstrations as well. We have so much food to offer. We have dancing, there's music. We, you can come see traditional Chinese instruments. There's just so much. Now, Abby, I see some of the people are already kind of lined up behind you, and I know families love to come out to the garden and spend time. What are some of the family-friendly activities y'all got going on today? Well, we do have a whole kids area, so if you come, we do have plenty of kids crafts. They can get their face painted. It's a great time, so we have something for everybody, and all the kids love the food, too, so make sure and come try something new. Now, Abby, on this show, you said the key word. That's one thing we like to talk about is food. So can you tell us, are there any special vendors today that people should look out for? What kind of food can they get out there? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have five vendors that have come from all around St. Louis, local Chinese community members who have their own restaurants and catering businesses. So you can come and get some of your favorites like Crab Rangoons, of course, we have egg rolls and pot stickers, but then we also have some more um, authentic cuisine as well. Uh, one of my favorites actually is green onion pancakes. That's a Chinese traditional Ooh. like street food. It's literally like a fried batter pancake with green onion in it. It's my favorite. I love it. All right, Abby, you're making us hungry this morning. Okay, if somebody's watching right now and they <laughs> want to come on out, how much does it cost to visit the festival today and how long will you guys be up and running? Yeah, so prices range from about $8 to $16, depending on your membership level. You can find all of our ticket prices online at mobot.org and we'll be open until 5 p.m. today, so come on out. All right, sounds so great. Thank you so much, Abby, for chatting with us, and I know we're going to check in with you guys later on in the morning. All right, thank you so much. Did we lose not a bad okay. day for it. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say, I really don't think it is It is bad. Even though we're off to a colder start than I personally yes. would like. It's definitely not bad.